Hello, my name is Michael Glenn, and I'll be your instructor and host for the Art of the Spear video. The routine you just saw was designed as a teaching routine. It progresses in the ascending level of difficulty. So if you're having trouble, don't get frustrated. The beginning moves are easier. Take your time with them, learn them, be comfortable with them before you move on. Now to break the routine down, I started it with a three-point stall, which just goes onto your fingers, just like this, three points, and you can close your hand, open your hand, and kind of squeeze your hand closed right up to the stall. Palm circles. Now, this is one of the simplest things to do. You want to get good at this to limber your fingers up, to loosen your hand up, you get going doing palm circles. And it's just pushing the sphere, using your thumb, and using your fingers to push the sphere around. Now you can go clockwise and counterclockwise. And of course you want to be able to use both hands when you do this. Putting your hands together, pinky to pinky, and treating it like one big hand. Palm circles, clockwise and counterclockwise. Now, this is the first infinity loop. This is the hand infinity loop. So you're going one direction with one hand and the opposite direction with the other hand. Now I showed you the pedestal, which was up to here. Now if you take it and you just work it up, letting your fingers wrap around, this is what I call the squeeze up. And down. Just letting it float through your fingertips. And if you stopped it, it would look like that. Back of the hand. Now this is an important stall to have control on the back of your hand. And so in order to do this, I drop my middle finger and it rests right on my fingertips. I get a close up from above. See, it's resting just on my fingertips here. Now, a good way to practice that is move it side to side, move your hand up and down. Hand flips. The first hand flip is gonna flip over the index finger. So it's very simple, all you do is flip your wrist. And if you notice, I'm moving my hand about four or five inches to the left and to the right. The next move goes over the pinky. And in order to do this, is I bring my hand out and around. It goes up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. So the sphere goes up to the pinky, cuts around into your palm. A little harder than the last move, but very important. Now in order to put these last two moves together, you're going over your index and going over your pinky. Over my index and over my pinky. But if I move my elbow along, if you'll notice, you have your, another one-handed infinity loop here. Transfer it to your opposite hand, do the same thing. I'm just moving my arm, finding the natural curve that the sphere wants to roll in. And as I tighten that down, over my pinky and over my index, over my pinky and over my index, I have what we call a full hand circle. But all I'm doing is those two moves I just taught you, going over your pinky and over your index. It's very easy to move into finger rolls. Now, a finger roll is an isolation where your finger rolls around the ball individually. So if I walk it down my whole hand, this is called finger rolls. And I stop it with a three-point inverted stall. From here, I went over the top of the hand and I just pushed through onto the back of the hand. And now, in order to go over the top, you want to pivot with your elbow here. You're just going to bring it back up and break your wrist so it goes into your palm. Now, as I did this, I kept my fingers closed to go over the top. Now, turn this angle and see it over the top, like that. Or you can make it a little bit easier by spreading your fingers out and using this like a track to roll on. So again, you're just going from the back of your hand to the palm of your hand by going between your fingers. A wrist curl begins down here and you curl your wrist and bring your arm up and around. Curl it, bring it up and around. I've also heard this called a waiter's trick. A very natural motion, just goes up and around like that. Up and around. This is a nice way to change up your routine a little bit. It's not a hard move, it just gives you a different level change. Now, 
To extend this out, you do a wrist curl with a, uh, a hand flip over the pinky. See that? If you go like this, you're curling your wrist, you're up to here, and you're flipping it over, and it goes over your pinky. So as you do it fluidly, that's what it looks like. Wrist curl and hand flip over the pinky. Wrist rolls. Wrist rolls start on the back of your hand. You push forward and let it go over this part of your wrist. You feel the bone right there and it just goes back to where it starts in the back of your hand. On the side plane. On the forward plane. Two hand transfers. The first two hand transfer is over the top. And the way you do this is you go over the top with one and you make this X with your wrist. The hand that is receiving the ball comes in front of the other hand. And you can practice it really slowly by just going over, stopping it, and continuing. And once you get it a little more fluid, this is over the top two hand transfer. Back of hand to palm of hand transfer. Again, another two hand transfer. Goes from the back of your hand to the palm of your hand. And you flip it over, goes back of your hand to the palm of your hand. This is a two hand transfer back to palm. Back to back transfer. It goes from the back of the hand to the back of the hand. And I just do a, a simple uh, hand uh, over the pinky roll for it, to stop it, back of the hand, back of the hand, back of the hand, the back of the hand. Now this is the back of the hand to the palm of the hand on the sideways, uh, on the sideways plane. Back of the hand to palm of the hand on the sideways plane. So you transfer it to the back of to the palm this way and do, do the reverse. Back to the palm, back to the palm, back to the palm back to the palm. And when you get it fluid, back to the palm, back to the palm. You'll notice the infinity loop that happens there. And to do the opposite is another infinity loop, and it goes over the pinky to the back of the hand. So it actually transfers from the palm to the back the opposite way. Over the pinky to the back of the hand. Over the pinky to the back of the hand. And as you get it fluid, once again, you can see another infinity loop. The first walk we work on is a sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Starts, so you're just transferring it palm to palm, and you're just letting your hand that is receiving the ball go underneath the other hand. The hand that's receiving it goes underneath and just lets it walk along. You're kind of pulling that hand backwards, just letting it walk along. A sidewalk with a cut in, otherwise known as the New York sidewalk. Your wrist crosses over, goes to the back of your hand, flips over your index finger, and transfers to your palm. Flips over your index finger, transfers to your palm. The sidewalk, New York sidewalk. I've always been searching for the truth. This is what is called a cut-in to a cut-in. You're taking it from your palm, crossing your wrists, letting the sphere go to the back of your hand, and keeping in that palm. You cross it with the other one, do the same thing.
This is the forward walk. It just goes from your palm, or palm and goes to the forward to the tips of your fingers. And then you, when you place it, you place your hand directly behind your wrist. As you kind of pull your hand backwards, the ball goes forwards and just rolls along the whole, the whole plane of your hand. This is called a forward walk. This is with your palm. You can also do a forward walk on the back of your hand. You can change it up, forward walk to the, just the back, just the front, so just the palm, or mixing it up. Now a back walk with a cut in goes, you start pushing it back and you do a cut in from this plane. So you're gonna cut it in from your pinky. It's gonna go roll over your pinky and you flip your wrist so it goes over your index finger and goes back to the palm of your hand again. It cuts in. So it's, the ball is making a little hop, but really essentially isn't traveling anywhere. It's a back walk with a cut in or the moon walk. To put the walks together, a forward and a sidewalk, you go forward with one hand and pull your other hand to the side. So you bring your hand, the hand that it's being transferred to, you pull to the back. And you transfer it to the back of the palm, pull your hand back, transfer it to the back of your hand, pull your hand back. So this is a combination forward sidewalk. Horizontal transfers with two hands. So it starts, you can use your palms or the back of your hand again. It starts out here and you send it to your, to your palm. You pick it up with the other hand with the palm. Turn the first hand the opposite direction. You're now going the opposite way. It goes again from the palm to the fingertips, the palm to the fingertips. So again, palm, 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 palm. Or again, you put it on the back of your hand. Back, back, to the palm. Vertical transfers are called a walk up. It's kind of a push. You're walking the ball up, you're going back to the hand, back of the hand, back of the hand, back of the hand. So when you're transferring it, you're transferring it just like this, so like that. And you're pushing it up as you go. Two-handed transfer with crossover. So it starts with your wrist cross, and it's on the back of the hand, back of the hand. Push it around so it goes to the palm to palm, and then keep going around to back to back. So what's cool about this move is you can do it on this plane, or you can move it all over the place. You're using both your hands to guide it. So it really gives it a nice flow. Two hand transfers, palm to palm. Starting with your palm to palm, wrist cross, the ball, the sphere sits in this kind of V here, and you bring your hands across. You're just keeping your palm to palm and you're letting the sphere rotate around your fingers. It's giving it a lot of control. Just bring your fingers around it. And as you speed it up, you can see all 10 of your fingers go around it, which gives it a nice, nice look. The four different planes of the, of the arm. You have the forearm, Back of the arm, thumb side, pinky side. Now, the thumb side, I go from a pedestal, and I push my arm up, and I pull it right back down, and it goes along this plane of the arm. And now to go to the pinky side of the arm, I just kind of toss the sphere up here, and just go forward with my arm, letting it roll over that plane, into the front of the arm.
call this an arm drag. Just letting it go across your whole arm. Let it roll and pick it up. Let it roll, pick it up. So you can go this direction and that direction. And now to add both arms to it, you can change it up in any sort of combinations. These are called arm drags. There's a couple of different ways to do them. Body rolls. In order to do a body roll, a lot of the control comes from your, your center right here. You're gonna be bending at your waist in order to get the sphere to go around. So think of making your arms in as, as much of a circle as you can, and then lean back at your hips and let it roll around. Lean back at your hips. Sorry, Mike. You bend at your waist. You know, this is the outside of the arm. You can also do it inside of the arm. Inside, outside. A body circle. It's doing a body roll, but it's doing it continuous. It's not stopping it. It's letting it just continue on a full body circle. A one-arm body roll. You get it to go around, you cut over your chest, and as it comes down, you pick it up with the same hand that it started with. So a one-arm body roll goes around the body and picks up again, right over at the elbow. So one-arm body roll. It's an inside full body infinity loop. You place the sphere at your shoulder and have it roll down to your fingertips. And place it to your shoulder, have it to roll to your fingertips. Place to your shoulder, roll to your fingertips. You're going to the opposite shoulder as you're doing it. This is an inside infinity. Now you can do the same thing in reverse, and it's the outside infinity loop, and it's the last move of the routine. And it goes like this. You can get it to go to your elbow, roll to your elbow, cut in, let it go the opposite way. So once again, the first part of it is getting it to your elbow here, and then you're gonna cut in with your other hand and let it go around, do a body roll, full body roll to the next elbow, and then cut it and go the exact opposite of it. Your fingertips to your elbow, you cut in, goes around, does a full body circle to the next elbow, and you cut in and do the exact opposite. and up to two-handed palm-to-palm stall. And that's the whole routine. 